Hello everyone, welcome to Healthy Living. Today we are going to be talking about food safety and healthy habits. So our first activity is food safety trivia. I will ask 10 food safety true and false and multiple choice questions. The goal is for you to answer the question with the answer you think is correct. Pause the video if you need more time to read the answer or question. Question 1. True or false? A refrigerator should keep your food at 40 degrees or lower. The answer is true. A fridge at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or lower will slow the growth of bacteria. Question 2. True or false? Meat can be thawed safely on the countertop. The answer is false. Thaw food in the refrigerator or in a microwave oven, not on the countertop. Germs can still grow on meat left at room temperature. Question three. How long can you safely leave a meat sandwich in your backpack without a freezer pack? A, three hours, B, two hours, C, one hour, or D, half an hour? The answer is B, two hours. Food should spend no more than two hours at room temperature. Question four, true or false? Freezing food will kill harmful bacteria. The answer is false. Freezing will stop most bacteria from growing, but freezing will not kill the bacteria. Question five, how long should you wash your hands with soap and water before rinsing? A, two minutes, B, 60 seconds, C, 20 seconds, or D, two seconds? The answer is C, 20 seconds. You can sing happy birthday twice or twinkle twinkle little star. Question six, true or false? Partly cooking meat and putting it in the refrigerator is okay. The answer is false. You should never partially cook meat. Cook it completely, then put it in the refrigerator. Question seven. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, what is the single most important way to reduce the spread of disease? A, cleaning up after you're done preparing food, B, cooking food to the right temperature, C, picking up food from the floor, or D, washing your hands. The answer is D, washing your hands. Question eight, true or false? Cutting up lettuce for a salad on a cutting board that used to cut up raw chicken is okay. The answer is false. The cutting board has germs from the chicken. To clean the cutting board, wash it with hot soapy water followed by a hot water rinse before cutting any other food. Even better, use a different cutting board for meats and vegetables. Question nine, true or false? If you use antibacterial hand gel, you never need to wash your hands. The answer is false. Hand gels are okay if no hand washing sinks are nearby, but washing your hands with soap and water is a better idea. The alcohol in hand gels al dries out your hands too. Question 10, which of these foods is safe stored in the cupboard? A. Bologna, B. Peanut butter, C. Eggs, or D. Cooked rice? The answer is B. Peanut butter. Okay, so now I'd like us to talk about different ways to keep healthy while still at home and incorporating some healthy habits into our everyday lives. So it's still very important to keep active and healthy while you're still at home. Um, this could be doing any little walks, exercising around the house, but just anything you can do to keep healthy. 
So first, I'd like you to think about different habits you have in your life that you do already that are pretty healthy. That could be going for walks, meditating, eating healthy, exercising, anything you do that you can think of that is healthy. You can write it down, say it aloud, or just think about it. And then I'd also like you to get out a piece of paper and something to write with. And I want to make like a checklist for every day of some healthy habits that you could do. So you can accomplish them, mark them off. So here's an example of one I made. So I just have every day of the week written in one healthy habit each day. You can choose more habits um, each day if you'd like to. This is just an example of one that I did. So Monday, I put drink plenty of water. So that could be drinking five of my big water bottle that I have. So I get plenty of water in my body. Tuesday, I did take a walk outside. So something that's getting me active, going outside, getting to be in nature, um, gets my body moving. Um, Wednesday, I put focus on good posture and sitting up straight, which is something I'm not doing now because I'm I always slouch, so that's something I've been wanting to work on is good posture. Um, Thursday, I put good a good night's sleep. Sometimes I've been staying up too late and having to get up really early, so I'm gonna try to go to bed earlier so I can get a good night's sleep, so I can be refreshed for the next day. Friday, I put eat a healthy breakfast. Normally, I don't eat breakfast because it's just, I don't have enough time, um, but now I'm gonna make a priority to eat something pretty healthy before I start my day. Um, Saturday, I put include greens into my meals. That's another thing I don't eat that often, but I should be doing every day. So I'm gonna try to include lettuce, spinach, other greens into um, my meals for the day. And then Sunday, I put paint something or do a hobby that you like. So I really like to paint and I think that's just a good way to do something creative. That's not just me watching TV or being on my phone. So it's a little bit healthier. Um, getting my creativity and brain going. So what I'd like you to do is write down each day of the week and you can make it like a checklist like me. So once you Monday's over, you drink plenty of water, check that off um, each day. So I'd like you to come up with one thing at the least to do each day. So I'll give you some time to do that um, and then come back when you're done making your list. So I hope you guys thought of a few things you can do each day at home that is still healthy and getting your body moving. Um, you're not just sitting around watching TV, you're getting good nutrients, exercise, whatever it may be. Um, so yeah, after this, I think we can either, if the weather is nice today, go on a walk. So if that's something on your list, you can check it off. Going on a nature walk for 10 minutes, going to the park, playing basketball. Or if the weather is not nice, um, I have some chair yoga exercises we can do. So if that is on your list of doing exercise, um, we can do that next. So let's get started with some chair yoga. Start by sitting in a comfortable position with your back straight on the chair. Place your hands on your thighs and we will start by doing cat cow. As you inhale, arch your back and bring your shoulders all the way back and look up. As you exhale, round your shoulders forward and bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round forward. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round forward. Inhale, come back to the center and then reach your arms overhead. Inhaling, exhaling, bring your arms down. Inhale, arms up, exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms reach up, exhale, arms reach down. Now we're going to start to lean forward and touch our hands to the floor. If you need to, just lean as far forward as you can 
even if that is just your head looking down. And hold that and take big deep breaths. All right, lift your head up and come back to the center. Now, place your right hand on your left inner foot and take your opposite arm, twist it to the ceiling. A modification I'd like to do is place your right hand on your opposite knee and use your opposite arm to lift up and look at the ceiling. Switch sides, left arm on your opposite knee, right arm up to the sky. Remember to be taking big deep breaths and come back to the center. Next, we are going to be doing seated pigeon. So lift up your right ankle, place it on your left knee. A modification would be to just cross your ankles at the bottom. You can just sit up tall here or fold forward if you'd like. If you need to, just lift your knee up onto the chair as far as you can. And now switch legs. Stay sitting up or lean forward if you'd like. And feet back to the center. Now, Take your right leg and cross it over your left. Take your arms and you can either place them right elbow under left or you can just hug your shoulders. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall and taking deep breaths. As you inhale, lift up your elbows so they're shoulder width. Exhale back to the center and switch legs. Cross over your left leg and hug your arms, putting the opposite hand on top. Inhale, bring up your elbows. Exhale back to the center. Twist to the right side of your chair. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale. And as you exhale, turn and put your hands on the back of your chair, twisting your back. Keep breathing. Exhale, come back to the front and do the other side. Sitting up nice and tall. As you inhale, exhale, twist to the back. Keep taking nice, big, deep breaths. And twist back to the front. Now we are going to be ending it with chair shavasana. So, place your hands on your thighs in a comfortable position, you could do palms up or down, and close your eyes. Keep breathing and let your body movements soak in. Keep taking big deep breaths until you are relaxed. Open your eyes. And you have completed chair yoga for today.